everybody. Welcome to Reading Smoke with Phil Jones this week, episode 23. So it's 23 weeks we've been doing this. And uh, as you can see right away, I want to thank Brian Bastinelli. We're going to YouTube live stream his content here today. I always want to make sure that we give proper recognition and um, just really thank the folks that are out there making videos and putting them online for us to to hopefully get some training out of. We're going to start the video. Uh, first, I want to thank the new subscribers, as always, uh, Adam Chapin, uh, Jesse Gosa, Wade Gale, Jesse Treat, uh, Catherine Henry, welcome board, Catherine, KJ Chase, Richard Hustatler, Ben Jan Jankowski, sorry about that, Ben, hopefully I got that right, uh, Brian Jones, and Brian Walker. Uh, two Brian's, I can tell them tell them apart because one's got an I and one's got a Y. Anyway, uh, we're on scene today with uh, uh, Chief Bassinelli and uh, Harrisburg, Pennsylvania firefighters. We're going to start, I'm going to I'm going to go past this uh, front end here and we're going to arrive with them, which we didn't do on the Facebook post um, yesterday, but we are doing something we can see right here. We can see a pretty Okay, so it's not a huge column here, right? Now remember, this will depend on uh, how much ventilation we have. Remember that if it's a well-ventilated fire nearby, we'd have thin, um, high-velocity, thin black smoke, right? Thin black and fast. It looks a little bit like that. We have some gray here, <clears throat> um, but we're reading that we definitely have a working fire. And we notice it's in this structure right here, and they're, they give a good size up. If you have a chance to go watch the video, uh, they'll talk about this being a two and three story. <clears throat> what I don't know, they would probably know, or actually I'm sure they would know based on the neighborhood, whether or not it's got uh, the potential for a basement. But we can look right away and see there's only smoke out the back. We're not seeing anything coming out the front. And um, right now I can't tell, and I don't think they can tell either which one of these units it is. Uh, but we're going to roll in with them. And uh, so certainly high velocity black smoke. I think it could, it's getting towards thick, maybe a little bit thin, um, sort of in the middle there. And now we see, see a really good view of the front of the building. And just moving out of the way just a little bit so the truck can have the front which everybody's got to appreciate. And as we're, as we're looking here, we're, we're looking to see any signs along here, even from the cab as he's doing the size up, uh, any signs along here and, and, and uh, tell whether or not, right, whether or not there's anything going on. I think you're not going to make it quick. Uh, not able to get a full hot lap. But going to go back and take a look at the back side of the structure, right? So get a good idea of what's going on, part of the size up process, right? And again, right here, nothing from the front of the building. Nothing, even on these second stories, we can look at these windows. Again, not sure just yet where, which, which of these units, although it's probably one of these first units. It could be first, second, or third, based on what I see right now. But notice in these windows, not seeing any signs up here, right, that there's a fire. So it's, it's probably, we could probably already say it's in the Charlie side or side three, depending on how you look at things. And we're going to run around to the back, and we're going to get a good view back here of uh, the back of the structure. Okay, now we're looking. That smoke is quite a bit, uh, it's actually, if I can go back just just a touch yeah there we go pretty thick column turbulent black smoke and uh, we're getting a good view it's coming from the primarily from the second unit right the second not the first and uh, like we talked about in the um, Facebook post nothing from down here right we are starting to get some extension uh, to the fascia and stuff over here from radiant heat right but we do have uh, Almost, uh, it looks like it's hard to tell because this, this glimpse is so brief. Looks like this might be a bi directional flow, or this could be close to 100% exhaust here. It's just really hard to tell with the 
it's just a short view and, and you know you know we're trying to look at it on video but when you're looking at it in real life uh, you can take a lot more in in a shorter period of time plus we're only looking at where his camera is aimed we're not we can't see where his eyes are aimed that sort of thing um, but it looks like maybe a bi-directional flow there but the big key right is um, it's not in the first unit it's in the second unit uh, it's on floor two and there's no smoke coming from either the front or the back we know now at the floor one level and so we have a fire that's definitely up on floor two uh, no signs it does not look to me like there's a basement slash cellars here but there could be there could be right so what we want to have is is that view from the back side we want to be able to translate into what our expectations are uh, he's going to force the store what our expectations are when the store gets open and based on the fact that uh, the smoke was only coming from floor two both in the front and the rear and it looked like it was um, a bi-directional flow we're expecting to see probably very clear conditions here when we open the door that's what you should expect and he's going to get this door open there's going to be an interior door you know so we got a swinging door on the outside got a vestibule uh, probably to protect from the weather and we're going to be inside and we're going to get a great view boom right here i missed it by just a touch so let's go back look here okay really wide open um and we can see up on floor two we can see the fire uh in the fire uh we can see the fire compartment in the charlie side which is exactly what we expected literally no smoke that i can see here there, there could be a very slight haze up here but it looks to me like it's completely clear which is what we expected right that's what we expected to see and, and as these things come into alignment right our expectations in reality come into alignment that uh, just should confirm for us that our size up is good now if this place had a basement and if that fire extended from the basement we'd likely see smoke hanging out um, um to very low levels maybe thin on this on this floor but we'd almost certainly see smoke and we'd see smoke in probably the bottom half uh the top half too but extending down to the bottom half indicating hey wait a minute um that's not lining up with what i thought <clears throat> might need to make another assessment but we can see here we can also take into account a few things right we see like this is some partial construction the paint the trim's gone here right the the light here isn't exactly finished Right, so we, we might want to start thinking about it. It'd be interesting to see. I can't see from here. Is there any furniture, that sort of stuff? But we're going to get a good um, view. And notice that that door is closing behind him, which is providing that ventilation control as the engine's getting their uh, line stretched. Right, he, uh, he pointed there, and uh, we're, we're going to get the line up. So now, with the expectations set, uh, once he gets to the top of the stairs, right we get a good view here we have a nice uh, stratification of the smoke layer certainly we have thick turbulent smoke right here black um, high volume here high volume turbulent thick black smoke right and we have a really good working fire all the way down to the floor in that room and we're gonna be able to see this smoke trailing into the room which is going to tell us that it's getting its oxygen supply from behind us Right, that's it's sucking air in to that space. It might still be a bi-directional flow, or it might be a unidirectional flow at the window right now. I don't know for sure, but let's go back to just catch that, catch a view of that. And as we're looking here, so the thing we can see here is with a couple of feet of clearance, the engine company's laying the line. Um, wanted to see he could probably tell whether or not the door is here, whether or not it can be closed. It wouldn't be a bad idea to close this door waiting for the engine, but I don't know, maybe they're right behind him. And, uh, or maybe the door's not there, or maybe it can't be closed. I'm not sure. It's just something to consider. And with this smoke layer, the way it is, and the air being drawn from behind us, the engine company on their way in, it should give us a really nice uh, ability to break off from here, make to the right with our partner, and uh, get those other bedrooms searched right with fire down to the floor in this room we're not going in there plus the survivability profile is pretty low i'm not saying it's not possible in the closet 
I'm just saying that that's not my first search priority, particularly without the engine company already being up here. But I want to get those other bedrooms cleared as fast as possible. And we can, in fact, see as he starts to uh, maneuver around, all of a sudden we're in low light conditions. Uh, and that pretty much continues um, for the rest of this video, right? He takes it. He does take a quick look in that room just to see what's going on. And then, and then we're now we're going to be in zero viz for basically the rest of this video. So there's not much we can learn from that, right? So coming in, we can see pretty good column of smoke. Right, that confirms for us we have a, we definitely have a working fire, and it's not super thick in here, right? So it, 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 I don't think if we look at this and we go, hey, is that a flashover? Probably not just yet. I'm not saying it's on, not on its way, but it's not there yet, right? Which we're in relatively early stage of the fire. We'll pop forward a little bit and just review. Does that? that 360 gets around to the back and obviously doesn't go all the way around this place because look there's fence all that kind of stuff right so we're, we're talking about 360 we definitely as long as we can see the back side we can be pretty comfortable in a lot of these cases especially since this is mid row right so we know this is mid row we can look at at this spot you know there's no smoke down here there's fire up here floor two fire and then we go through the rest of it, right? Of, of being able to see clear right up to the fire room and the way that's flowing through there, right? So uh, as always, thanks to these crews for the hard work. Uh, thanks to Brian Bastinelli for putting this up. Thanks to SBSK for uh, giving me a forum on Wednesdays to post on their Facebook page. And thanks to you, the viewer. If you like these things, if you use them for training, let me know in the comments. And please like and subscribe. It really does help me understand how the videos are being used and the ways in which maybe I can help uh, a little more or, or figure out something that maybe we haven't done before and get get this back and let, um, let Brian Bastinelli give him one more shout out. And hey, we'll see you next week. Thanks everybody for being here.